National Security Council Secretariat is currently studying the proposal for 87 Ted BF for the Indian Navy. Israel Aerospace Industries has launched a new program called the New Sphere Innovation, to search for deep tech startups in India to jointly create advanced technologies. Garden Reach Ship Builders has handed over the indigenously designed and built Chaldut unmanned surface vessel to the DRDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory. The ISRO has successfully launched the European Space Agency's Proba 3 mission aboard the PSLV C-59 rocket. The Indian Air Force has decided to extend the service life of its MiG-21 fighters, due to delays in the induction of the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. The Indian Navy will soon announce its decision on whether to opt for an entirely indigenous landing platform dock design, or to collaborate with foreign partners like Naval Group or Navantia for the project. The RDO's Solid State Physics Laboratory in collaboration with Research Center Imarath has successfully demonstrated a high-performance miniature Joule Thomson cooler, that marks a significant advancement in cooling technology. Armenian Defense Minister visited the Defense Expo exhibition in Gandhi Nagar, and engaged with various defense companies and explored the military hardware showcased at the exhibition. Dynamatic Technologies Limited has delivered its first rear fuel tank assembly for the Falcon 6X to Dassault Aviation ahead of schedule. An Indian Air Force official has emphasized the need to revise the 42 squadron benchmark needed to address the challenges of a two-front war scenario with China and Pakistan, and that the Air Force needs to plan for an even larger force structure. The 42 squadron strength was established in the 1960s, and now the 42 fighter squadrons of manned aircraft alone would not suffice and the Air Force needs to consider an expansion to 50 squadrons, combining both 42 manned fighter squadrons and 8 squadrons of unmanned autonomous combat aircraft. Officials have said, the deal for 26 Rafale Marine aircraft will cost about 7 billion euros, that will include weapons, associated ancillary equipment, simulators, spares documentation, crew training and performance-based logistics support besides certain changes. The deal will be signed on the sidelines of Prime Minister Modi's visit to Paris in February 2025. Under the contract, France will have to deliver the first Rafale Marine aircraft in 37 months from the date of signing the deal. The contract would also have a clause, under which Dassault Aviation will have to showcase a Rafale Marine within 18 months with the required modifications sought by the Indian Navy. The TED BF program had been cleared from all relevant ministries, and is currently being studied by the National Security Council Secretariat and final approval from the Cabinet Committee on Security is expected in 2025. The Navy had initially moved a proposal for 145 Ted BF fighters, but fresh numbers projected are about 87 units. The Navy had identified 14 essential upgrades it needed on the Ted BF program, including automatic landing and takeoff features, and four of the 14 technologies have been successfully tested and accepted on the Naval Tejas. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>